Hey guys, welcome to Imminent Threat Solutions. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to build a DIY gun magnet. Um, what this is based off of is a user on Reddit that came up with a little DIY $7 gun magnet that we saw. And essentially what he did was take a paint stick that's free at the hardware store and a couple of these ceramic magnets that you can see that I've already got affixed to this piece here and used a piece of heat shrink tubing and put together a little gun magnet. He screwed it into the side of a workbench and now he's got a place to you know, store his gun essentially when he's working and things like that. So what we're gonna be doing today is taking that a little bit further. Um, you know, I started looking at the construction process that he used, which was to use a paint stir stick because it's free, which is cool. Um, but these are a little warped, they're pretty thin. Um, I, I feel that they don't really produce a good end result. So what we did was we actually took a 98 cent um, a yardstick and I sanded it down a little bit and cleaned it up and cut off a section, which is what you see right here. This is a five and a half inch long piece. And what I did was glue down two of those ceramic magnets. Those are about roughly about three bucks at the hardware store. Um, I picked these up at Lowe's. They come in a set of two, um, a little package like this. And it's important to read the directions because it clearly says adhere the magnet to the back of an object to make it magnetic, in case you didn't know. So um, once you've got those two magnets, you're gonna fix them, like I said, with glue. And one of the reasons we did that, um, as you can kind of pan down here, we'll show exactly what's going on. But basically this is our heat shrink tubing. This is a, a one inch piece of, actually it's 1.1 inches, and it's a 9.5 millimeter piece of heat shrink tubing. Um, this is the most expensive part of the project. Uh, this ran me about eight bucks at uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts store. Um, the user on Reddit suggested Napa. You can also look there, but my local Napa didn't have anything like this big heat shrink tubing. Um, common sizes for heat shrink tubing aren't this big, so you'll need to kind of ask the counter at an auto parts store how to get this stuff or find it online um, because most places just have half inch um, heat shrink tubing. And that's not enough for this. So a couple other things you're going to need. Um, like I said, I've already glued this down, so we use some little Gorilla Super Glue to uh, it fix the magnets to the, the piece of yardstick here. And I've gone ahead and drilled out two holes and countersunk the holes, so that's done with an 8 one eighth inch drill bit. Um, and then I'll be coming back with some wood screws and actually screwing through the heat shrink tubing once we actually get this on. So one thing I want to point out is, again, that's, this is five and a half inch long piece, and this is a six inch piece of heat shrink tubing. So what I did is I left a quarter inch on each side. So hopefully what will happen is as we, you know, run the heat gun over this, we'll be able to kind of close it off on the sides. I'm going to see how it goes. Um, we'll kind of get to that point as we start heating it up. But um, again, just to run through a couple other things we use, just so you have a good idea of everything that's kind of involved. Um, you need to drill, obviously, to, to drill those holes. You can opt for the countersink. It's really not necessary if you don't want to. I just like to kind of use that as a final step on projects of what I drill with. You'll need some kind of a, a heat gun to make this work. You'll need those magnets I talked about, a couple wood screws, maybe a pencil to mark things off. And then with the sanding, I used, you know, 80 grit and then followed up with some 220. So you might want to have that. So in all, on this particular version of this project, I uh, probably spent close to... 11 bucks or something like that, 10, $11 on all the pieces that go into this. So a couple more dollars than the original Reddit project, but um, we're gonna see how this goes to see if it's uh, kind of a, a sturdier version. So let's go ahead and start heating this up with the, the heat gun here, and we'll see how the, the process goes. <laughs>
All right guys, so the heat shrink tubing is now on. Um, it didn't shrink down as much as I thought it would to kind of reveal the countersunk holes. So I've just kind of been testing here with the screw to figure out where the holes are. Um, so I've, I've pretty much located them. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna finish letting this cool down. It's still a little warm. Um, and then we'll screw it down to the, the side of the bench here and I'll show you how it works. All right guys, so here is the finished product. What I wanted to show you is a close up of just what the heat shrink looks like on this. Um, as well as what the ends look like here. So while it didn't seal up completely around the edges, I did try to use some pliers as it was cooling to, to try to pull that together all the way, but it just wasn't happening. Um, what you will see in there is some melted rubber that I think is sealing it enough to prevent any moisture from getting in, things like that. Obviously, we're about to put a hole through this too uh, when, we see, when we mount this. So um, just a little close up. So the next step is actually getting this all mounted up. All right guys, so we've got our pilot holes drilled here. This is, these were drilled with that same 1 8 inch drill bit. And we've got basically the screw started through the heat shrink tubing. I'm just gonna line this up here. So I'll screw it down. And you wanna make sure you don't screw this too much here um, because what I was worried about is that screw coming through the rubber of the heat shrink tubing. So now, our DIY gun magnet is complete. And there you have it. So for around 10 bucks, you can have your own DIY gun magnet. And be sure to check out our article on ITS Tactical where we'll go through some details and a write-up and also with some photos. So thanks for watching and please let us know if you have any questions.